what you're thinking. A woman has a favorite handbag, and it always hangs on her bedpost where she can get at it easily. And then all of a sudden, she goes away on a trip and leaves it behind. Why? Because she didn't know she was going on a trip, and where she's going, she wouldn't need the handbag. Hi, everybody. This is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome to my channel. And the clip you just saw was from the 1954 classic Rear Window, which was directed by Alfred Hitchcock, featuring James Stewart and Grace Kelly. And the reason I shared that clip is because it features a bag by the brand Mark Cross, founded in 1845 by Henry W. Cross. It was named after his only son, Mark Cross. So that's just a little bit of history about this company. It was based out of Boston originally, but later the company was purchased by the Murphy family and they expanded that brand to New York and Paris and London. And it just became a household name when it comes to luxury items. And I learned about this brand from Melissa's purses. So Melissa, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge about this bag. That is what I love about the handbag community. We learn from one another. And because I collect handbags, I definitely had to go on a hunt for one of these purses from this brand. Now this brand did go out of business in the 1990s, but it was reestablished in 2011 and they just went back to the basis of what it was founded on and that is quality and luxury. So this particular bag, I'm not sure where, uh, what era it is from, but it kind of gives me 1980s vibes. Maybe that's because I love the 80s, but it's like a camera style bag and you have that tan leather trim and this is a coated canvas. It has a little bit of wear on it, but the Mark Cross um, emblem is kind of stitched into it. You can kind of see it better on the back here at the top, but it's very well branded. On the hardware, you will see Mark Cross. On the underside, it is made in Italy, so you have that on there. On the pool, you also have Mark Cross, or I should say the pools, and then you have the Mark Cross emblem here as well. So it's just a really cute bag, and I'm trying to remember how much I paid for this bag. It wasn't much at all, so let me go ahead and take out the stuffing but it has a leather interior and this is what the label looks like so it says mark cross made in italy and then on the underside you have a number there so you have that zip pocket and then it's just like an open space but i just think it's really cute and i'm glad i was able to get this at such a good deal so I did have to do uh, just minor cleaning of the bag as much as I could. Um, the leather, I think, did a good job of holding up. The canvas, like I say, there's a little bit of deterioration on the canvas. And what I did do is I did kind of, once I cleaned it, painted it with some um, acrylic finish. And that's why it has a little bit of a sheen to it because I really wanted to protect that coated canvas as much as I could. Also, I had to kind of do some gluing on the strap because the stitching had come undone and so I just put some glue underneath there. But other than that, it was in pretty good condition. So I will carry this bag. It does have a leather lining on the outside pocket as well. And I don't think it could fit. It could fit a smaller phone, but not my iPhone 10. So that's the first bag that I got. Next bag that I got, I got on Poshmark. And this bag, I believe I paid $45 for, but this is a really nice leather bag. This is probably from the 90s, maybe. It could be from the early 2000s, but really, really love this bag. Once again, it's branded on the front. It is also branded on the zipper pull as well. And I like that it has a deep pocket on the back. So you have this snap pocket. It is very deep. It has a fabric lining with Mark Cross on it. All right, let's unzip this. So 
So this bag features two slip pockets that are trimmed in leather, as well as a zip pocket on this side, and it has that fabric lining that has marked cross on it. And then here you have the marked cross pull, if I can show you there. It does not have any feet on the bottom and it has that kind of messenger bag shape that I like. You do have the adjustable strap and the person that I bought it from, they actually had a hole professionally put in so that they can make it as a shorter um, shoulder bag. So there you go. All right, guys, I'll do a quick mod shots of these bags. Even though I didn't dress to coordinate with the bags, you'll kind of get the gist of what they look like on. All right, be right back. On the Mark Cross brand. I hope this video was informative and I hope that maybe some of you learned about a brand that you didn't know about like I did when I watched Melissa's channel. So be sure to check out her videos on Mark Cross and I love you guys and remember as always to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so very much and I will see you soon. Bye!